Assyrians in Iraq, Assyrians in Iraq, Syriac, Esri Arabic, Lashring Phi L R Q are an ethnic and linguistic minority group indigenous to Upper Mesopotamia. Assyrians in Iraq are those Assyrians. Background Ancient History The Assyrians are typically Syriac speaking Christians who claim descent from Assyria, one of the oldest civilizations in the world dating back to 2500 BC in ancient Mesopotamia. Scholars have said that Kurds also fought against Christians because they feared that Armenians or their European allies could take control of the area. Both Arabs and Kurds thought of the Assyrians as foreigners and as allies of colonial Britain. Kurdish tribes were plundering Armenian and other Christian villages and took possession of land. Persecution of Assyrians has a long and bitter history. In 1895, in Diyarbakir, Kurdish and Turkish militia began attacking Christians, plundering Assyrian villages. In 1915, Kurds and Turks plundered villages. About 7,000 Assyrians were killed. In 1915, Turkish troops with Kurdish detachments committed mass slaughters of Assyrians in Iran. In the Assyrian village of Hafkin, almost 1,000 people were beheaded and 5,000 Assyrian women were taken to Kurdish harems. In 1894, the French diplomat Paul Cambon described the creation of Kurdish Hamidis regiments as the official organization for pillage at the expense of Armenian Christians. In these places the system of persecutions and extortions became intolerable to populations who had become accustomed to their slavery. According to Cambon, the port refused reforms and persisted in maintaining a veritable regime of terror arrests assassinations and rape. In 1924 the Muslim Kurds around Sheikh Said rose in revolt against the atheist government of Ankara and demanded autonomy, the restoration of religious laws and of the Sultanate. In 1932 Iraqi forces commanded by Kurdish general Bakr Sifi killed 600 Assyrians at Simul, near Mosul. Kurds committed the slaughter in which 65 Nestorian villages in northern Iraq were plundered and burned down, priests were tortured, and Christians were forced to renounce their religion while others in Dohuk were deported and about a 100 were shot. In 1843 Nestorians in the Taurus region refused to pay Kurds the jizya, and by way of reprisal 4,350 Nestorians were slaughtered, about 400 women and children were reduced to slavery, and all their houses and churches destroyed. Historians have noted that in Kurdistan Jews, Nestorians and Armenians were subject to talage and corvees at whim of authorities. Historians have noted that Bidir Khan Beg, also known as Bidurhan, called the Kurdish Muslims to fight a sacred war against Christian Syriac, Nestorian, Chaldean and Armenian people and ordered to massacre and annihilate them. Kurdish writers have recounted that the Kurdish troops attacked the Assyrians and started slaughters. Consequently, a few Assyrians were killed, their villages were destroyed and set into fire. For the second time, in 1846, the Assyrians residing at the Thuma region have been massacred. British writer William Eagleton said that in 1843 and 1846, Bidurhan started a massacre and booting campaign against the Christian Assyrians and Nestorians he was anxious about whose getting stronger and independent through becoming able to rule themselves. It was intolerable for Bidurhan to see the Assyrians living on his own territories getting stronger. Thus, he killed 10,000 Assyrians. Even though Bidurhan was a feudal tribal leader, he was expressing the aspirations of Kurdish nationalism. Kurdish and Arab attacks on Assyrians continued, culminating in the August 1933 Simul massacres. About 3,000 Assyrians were killed in that single month alone. Beginning in August 1933, Iraqi soldiers and Kurdish militia killed thousands of Assyrians in Simul, Iraq. The massacre had a big influence on Raphael Lemkin, the Jew. The Simul massacre is also commemorated yearly with the official Assyrian Martyrs Day on 7 August. The massacre was carried out by the Iraqi army, led by Kurdish General Bakir Sidki and Kurdish and Arab regulars. There were about 3,000 victims of the massacre. 
Kurdish-Christian Armenian relations were bitter at the turn of the 19th century, and land conflicts were a major problem. Many Christians and Europeans regarded the Kurds as barbarians and a major threat, the French consul at Erzurum describing them as a bloodthirsty savage population which is used to plundering and a nomadic life. Kurds also played a major part in the Ottoman army also through the Hamidiye. The Kurdish chieftain Bedr Khan during his rise to power massacred about 10,000 Assyrians in 1842. Nestorian tribes were massacred by Kurds in 1843. In 1915 Kurds massacred more than 27,000 Assyrians in Urmia region alone and destroyed more than 100 villages Assyrian villages in March 1915 alone. In 1916 Kurds and Turks massacred Assyrians in Botan region. Both Kurdish and Turkish nationalists deny the fact that Assyrians were the original inhabitants of southeastern Turkey and northern Iraq. The Assyrian population was so small in the aftermath of the genocide that the region called Assyria in ancient times came to be known as Kurdistan. The Kurds and Turks cynically resisted Assyrian and Armenian efforts to attain statehood after World War Roman II. While the Kurdish population doubled from 2 million in 1970 to 4 million in 2002, the Christian population decreased. British Mandate Independent Kingdom of Iraq Simul Massacre During July 1933, about 800 armed Assyrians headed for the Syrian border, where they were turned back by the French. While King Faisal had briefly left the country for medical reasons, the Minister of Interior, Hikmet Suleiman, adopted a policy aimed at a final solution of the Assyrian problem. This policy was implemented by an Iraqi Kurd, General Bakr Sidki. After engaging in several unsuccessful clashes with armed Assyrian tribesmen, on 11 August 1933, Sidki permitted his men to attack and kill about 3,000 unarmed Assyrian civilian villagers, including women, children, and the elderly at the Assyrian villages of Sumail Simul district, and later at Surya. Having scapegoated the Assyrians as dangerous national traitors, this massacre of unarmed civilians became a symbol of national pride and enhanced Sidney's prestige. The British, though represented by a powerful military presence, as provided by the Anglo-Iraqi Treaty of 1930, failed to intervene or allow the well-disciplined Assyrian levies under their command to do so, and indeed helped whitewash the event at the League of Nations. The Assyrian repression marked the entrance of the military into Iraqi politics, a pattern that has periodically re-emerged since 1958 and offered an excuse for enlarging conscription. Republic of Iraq Recognition of the Syriac language by the Ba'athist regime In the early 1970s, the secularist Ba'ath regime initially tried to change the suppression of Assyrians in Iraq through different laws that were passed. On 20 February 1972, the government passed the law to recognize the cultural rights of Assyrians by allowing Aramaic be taught schools in which the majority of pupils spoke that language in addition to Arabic. Aramaic was also to be taught at intermediate and secondary schools in which the majority of students spoke that language in addition to Arabic, but it never happened. Special Assyrian programs were to be broadcast on public radio and television, and three Syriac language magazines were planned to be published in the capital. An association of Syriac-speaking authors and writers had also been established. The bill turned out to be a failure. The radio stations created as the result of this decree were closed after a few months. While the two magazines were allowed to be published, only 10% of their material was in Aramaic. No school was allowed to teach in Aramaic either. Free Invasion Iraq Reports from various sources indicate a better human rights situation overall in the Kurdish-controlled areas of northern Iraq than exists elsewhere in the country AI 2000, 135, UK Immigration and Nationality Directorate SEPT. 1999, Ustos 25 Feb, 2000 also, according to the report. 
However, reports regarding isolated human rights abuses continued in 1999. The U.S. state government reported that in 1999 a Syrian Christian, Helena Alaun Sawa, was murdered, and according to Aina, the murder resembles a well-established pattern of complicity by Kurdish authorities in attacks against Assyrian Christians in the north. The murder was investigated by a commission appointed by the KDP, but no results of the investigation were reported by year's end. There were also incidents of mob violence by Muslims against Christians in northern Iraq. Christian Assyrians were also targeted in a series of bombings in Erbil in 1998-1999, and Assyrian groups have criticized the KRG for the lack of investigation. According to the Aina, the KDP blockaded Assyrian villages in 1999 and later entered the villages and beat villagers. However, after intervention by the International Committee of the Red Cross, the KDP left the villages again. According to the UK Immigration and Nationality Directorate, despite Tariq Aziz's lofty position in the Baghdad regime, Christians have little political influence in the Ba'ath government sept. 1999 education in any language other than Arabic and Kurdish was prohibited by the government in Baghdad. Therefore, Assyrians were not permitted to attend classes in Syriac. In the Kurdish-controlled northern areas, classes in Syriac have been permitted since 1991. However, according to some Assyrian sources, regional Kurdish authorities refused to allow the classes to begin. However, details of this practice were not available, and Kurdish authorities denied the accusations. In 1999, the Kurdistan Observer claimed that the central government had warned the administration in the Kurdish region against allowing Turkmen, Assyrian, or Yazidi minority schools. According to the UK Immigration and Nationality Directorate, the central government has engaged various abuses against the Assyrian Christians and has offered According to a report by the World Directory of Minorities, Assyrians were unable to avoid the Kurdish conflict. As with the Kurds, some supported the government, others allied themselves with the Kurdish nationalist movement Minority Rights Group International 1997, 346. Post-invasion Iraq Iraqi Christians have been victims of executions, forced displacement campaigns, torture, violence and the target of Islamist groups like Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Since the 2003 Iraq War, Iraqi Christians have fled from the country and their population has collapsed under the government of Iraq. The majority of Christians have either fled to the Iraqi Kurdistan or abroad. In 2003, Iraqi Christians were the primary target of extremist Sunni Islamists. Many kidnapped Christians were forced to leave Christianity or be tortured. On 1 August 2004, a series of car bomb attacks took place during the Sunday evening mass in churches in Baghdad and Mosul, killing and wounding a large number of Christians. The Jordanian jihadist and first emir of al-Qaeda in Iraq, Abu Musab al-Zarqawi, was blamed for the attacks. In 2006, an Orthodox priest, Bulos Iskander, was snatched off the streets of Mosul by a Sunni Arab group that demanded a ransom. His body was later found with his arms and legs having been cut off. In 2007, there were reports of a push to drive Christians out of the historically Christian suburb of Dora in southern Baghdad, with some Sunni extremists accusing the Christians of being allies of the Americans. A total number of 239 similar cases were registered by police between 2007 and 2009. In 2008, a priest called Raghit Ghani was shot dead in his church along with three of his companions. In the same year, there were reports that Christian students were being harassed. In 2008, the charity Barnabas conducted research into 250 Iraqi Christian IDP who had fled to the north of the country Iraqi Kurdistan to seek refugee status and found nearly half had witnessed attacks on churches or been personally targeted by violence. In 2009, the Kurdistan regional government reported that more than 40,000 Christians had moved from Baghdad, Basra and Mosul to the Iraqi Kurdistan cities. The reports also stated that the number of Christian families moving to Iraqi Kurdistan 
is growing and they were providing support and financial assistance for 11,000 of those families, and some are employed by the KRG. In 2010, Sunni Islamist groups attacked a Syrian Catholic church in Baghdad during Sunday evening mass on 31 October. In 2011, Islamist extremists assassinated Christians randomly using sniper rifles. Two months before the incident, two Christians had been shot for unknown reasons in Baghdad, and two other Christians had been shot by jihadis in Mosul. Human rights organizations have recorded 66 assault cases on churches and monasteries until 2012, as well as about 200 kidnappings. On 30 May 2011, a Christian man was beheaded by a Salafi extremist in Mosul. On 2 August 2011, a Catholic church was bombed by Sunni extremists in the Turkmen area of Kirkuk, wounding more than 23 Christians. On 15 August 2011, a church was bombed by Al-Qaeda in the center of Kirkuk. In 2014, during the 2014 Northern Iraq Offensive, the Islamic State of Iraqis ordered all Christians in the area of its control, where the Iraqi army had collapsed, to pay a special tax of approximately $470 per family, convert to Islam or be killed. Many of them took refuge in nearby Kurdish-controlled regions of Iraq. After Saddam Hussein's fall in 2003, the Assyrian Democratic Movement was one of the smaller political parties that emerged in the social chaos of the occupation. Its officials say that while armed members of the Assyrian Democratic Movement also took part in the liberation of the key oil cities of Kirkuk, the ethnic makeup of the Iraq Interim Governing Council briefly September 2003 June 2004 guiding Iraq after the invasion included a single Assyrian Christian, Yanadam Khanna, a leader of the Assyrian Democratic Movement and an opponent of Saddam Hussein since 1979. Assyrians in post-Saddam Iraq have faced a high rate of persecution by fundamentalist Islamists since the beginning of the Iraq War. By early August 2004, this persecution included church bombings and fundamentalist groups' enforcement of Muslim codes of behavior upon Christians, e.g., banning alcohol, forcing women to wear hijab. The violence against the community has led to the exodus of perhaps as much as half of the community. While Assyrians made up only just over 5% of the total Iraqi population before the war, according to the United Nations, Assyrians are overrepresented among the Iraqi refugees as much as 13% who are stranded in Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and Turkey. A large number of Assyrians have found refuge in ancient Assyrian Christian villages in Nineveh Plains and Kurdistan region. This led some Assyrians and Iraqi and foreign politicians to call for an Assyrian Christian autonomous region in those areas. In 2008, the Assyrians formed their own militia, the Karakash Protection Committee to protect Assyrian towns, villages, and regions in the north. In 2008, the Assyrian Archbishop Polos Faraj Raho of the Chaldean Catholic Church in Mosul was assassinated by some Kurds, while some have claimed assassins were hired by local Arab tribes. Raho was a defender of Assyrian self-administration. Some observers have claimed that Kurdish KDP forces often used to practice their shooting on important Assyrian cultural heritage sites. Kurdish KDP security forces have been criticized for human rights abuses. Abuses ranged from threats and intimidation to detention in undisclosed locations without due process. In 2015, the local KDP security forces arrested and detained political activist Kamal Said Kadir, for having written articles on the Internet critical of the KDP. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison. Some activists have claimed that membership in Kurdish parties is necessary to obtain employment and educational opportunities in Iraqi Kurdistan. The U.S. State Department report said that Kurdish authorities abused and discriminated against minorities in the North, including Turkmen, Arabs, Christians, and Shabak and that Kurdish authorities denied services to some villages, arrested minorities without due process, and took them to undisclosed locations for detention, and pressured minority schools to teach. Christian minorities in Kirkuk also charged that Kurdish security forces targeted Arabs and Turkmen. 
Assyrians have criticized the curtification of the school curricula and have complained about the confiscation and occupation of Assyrian lands, and that the Kurds invent new and impossible laws when the legitimate owners ask for their lands. Assyrians have criticized that while Kurds are very well funded, the Assyrian Christians receive almost no funding for their schools. Assyrians have also said that Kurds have modified and falsified school textbooks curtification and changed traditional Christian names to Kurdish names. In textbooks it was even claimed that some biblical figures were Kurdish. It was reported that the man accused of killing the Christian, politician Francis Yosef Shabo, in 1993 is allowed to walk around freely in Kurdistan. The impunity for those who attacked or killed Assyrians in the Kurdistan region was criticized. Assyrian Christian David Jindo was one of many murdered Christian politicians. Other prominent Assyrian leaders who were killed by Kurdish nationalists include Patriarch Mar Shaman, Franco Hariri, Margaret George, one of the first female Peshmerga, and Francis Shabo. Many of these figures were killed in spite of their attempts to engage with or work under Kurds. The U.S. state government also reported that in Kurdish-controlled areas Assyrian schools and classes Syriac were not permitted or prevented in some cases. There were also incidents of mob violence by Kurdistan Workers' Party KWP against Christians in northern Iraq. Christian Assyrians were also targeted in a series of bombings in Erbil in 1998 to 1999, and Assyrian groups have criticized the KRG for the lack of investigation. According to the U.S. Department of State, the KDP blockaded Assyrian villages in 1999 and later entered the villages and beat villagers. However, after intervention by the International Committee of the Red Cross, the KDP left the villages again. An example of Kurdification is the attack on the Assyrian town Rabatki in 2013 by General Araf al-Zabari and his brother Habib al hairs zabari reportedly by Kurdish Peshmerga soldiers. It has been reported that many Assyrian girls are forced into prostitution by Kurdish criminal organizations, and the families of these girls have also been threatened. Jilin's Post and Mohammed Cartoons The publication of satirical cartoons of the Islamic prophet Mohammed in the Danish newspaper Jilin's Post and on 30 September 2005 led to an increase in violence against the Assyrian community. At first, the cartoons did not get much attention, but when the Egyptian media picked up on the publication in late December 2005, violence and protests erupted around the world. On 29 January, six churches in the Iraqi cities of Baghdad and Kirkuk were targeted by car bombs, killing 13-year-old worshipper Fadi Rod Ilias. No militants claimed to be retaliating for the pictures, nor was this the first time Iraqi churches have been bombed, but the bishop of the church stated the church blasts were a reaction to the cartoons published in European papers. But Christians are not responsible for what is published in Europe. Many Assyrians in Iraq now feel like Westerners should not give wild statements as everyone can attack us in response, and today I'm afraid to walk the streets, because I'm Christian. Also on 29 January, a Muslim cleric in the Iraqi city of Mosul issued a fatwa stating, expel the Assyrian crusaders and infidels from the streets, schools. It has been reported that Muslim students beat up a Christian student at Mosul University in response to the fatwa on the same day. On 6 February, leaflets were distributed in Ramadi, Iraq, by the militant group the military wing for the Army of Justice demanding that Christians halt their religious rituals in churches, and other worship places because they insulted Islam and Muslims. Pope Benedict Roman XVI Islam Controversy The Pope Benedict Roman XVI Islam Controversy arose from a lecture delivered on 12 September 2006 by Pope Benedict Roman XVI at the University of Regensburg in Germany. Many Islamic politicians and religious leaders registered protest against what they said was an insulting mischaracterization of Islam, contained in the quotation by the Pope of the following passage, Show me just what Mohammed brought that was new, and there you will find things only evil and inhuman, such as his command to spread by the sword the faith he preached. 
after the Pope's comments were known throughout the Arab world, several churches were bombed by insurgent groups. A previously unknown Baghdad-based group, Katab Ashbal al-Islam al-Salafi Islamic Salafist, Boy Scout battalions threatened to kill all Christians in Iraq if the Pope does not apologize to Mohammed within three days. Christian leaders in Iraq have asked their parishioners not to leave their homes after two Assyrians were stabbed and killed in Baghdad. There have been reports of writing on Assyrian church doors stating if the Pope does not apologize, we will bomb all churches, kill more Christians, and steal their property and money. The Iraqi militia Jaysh al Mujahed and Holy Warriors Army announced its intention to destroy their cross in the heart of Rome. Iskander's church, as well as several other churches, placed 30 large posters around the city to distance themselves from the Pope's words. The relatives of the Christian priest, who was beheaded three days later in Mosul, have said that his Muslim captors had demanded his church condemn the Pope's recent comments about Islam and pay a $350,000 ransom. Ancient Assyrian objects and buildings have been labeled by Kurdish authorities as Kurdish. Also, many names of places and towns have been changed to Kurdish names. Observers have also reported that Kurdish forces often used to practice their shooting on important Assyrian cultural heritage site. Massacres and harassment since 2003 Massacres, ethnic cleansing, and harassment has increased since 2003 according to a 73-page report by the Assyrian International News Agency, released in summer 2007. On 6 January 2008, the Feast of Epiphany five Assyrian churches, one Armenian church, and a monastery in Mosul in Baghdad were coordinately attacked with multiple car bombs. Iraqi Vice President Tariq al-Hashimi expressed his closeness to Christians, whom he called brothers in the face of this attack that changed their joy to sadness and anxiety. Two days later, on 8 January, Two more churches were bombed in the city of Kirkuk, the Chaldean Cathedral of Kirkuk, and the Akomar Afram Church, wounding three bystanders. Since the start of the Iraq War, there have been at least 46 churches and monasteries bombed. Threats on Population Leaders of Iraq's Christian community estimate that over two-thirds of the country's Christian Population may have fled the country or been internally displaced since the U.S.-led invasion in 2003. While exact numbers are unknown, reports suggest that whole neighborhoods of Christians have left the cities of Baghdad and al-Basra, and that both Sunni and Shiite insurgent groups and militias have threatened Christians. Religious Official Targets Yousef Adel a Syriac Orthodox priest with St. Peter's Church in Baghdad's Karada neighborhood, was killed by gunmen while traveling in a car. On 11 April, President Bush was interviewed by Cliff Kincaid of the Uton Global Catholic Network after being informed about the deteriorating situation of the Assyrians. President Bush was quoted as saying this is a Muslim government that has failed to protect the Christians. In fact, it discriminates against them. Statistics A 1950 CIA numbers report on Iraq estimated 98,000 Chaldeans, 30,000 Nestorians, 25,000 Syriac Catholics, and 12,000 Jacobites. The report used the name Assyrians in the ethnic sense for Nestorians and also noted that Assyrians may be members of the Chaldean and Protestant churches. According to statistics gathered by the Roman Catholic Church when doing censuses of Chaldean Catholic dioceses in Iraq in 2012 and 2013, Chaldo Assyrians in Iraq numbered 230,071 people. A population project run by Shlama Foundation has determined the Assyrian population of Iraq to be at a total of 151,047 in March 2020.